Hey, what's up guys, MGH here, and welcome to a brand new episode of my Valencia career mode. And this is the first video of my channel being 22 years old. Just wanna say a massive thank you to everyone on Twitter who's been saying happy birthday. I really do appreciate it. I wish I could reply to all of you guys, but unfortunately there are too many of you. The, the support is strong with you guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And today we're getting back into the Valencia career mode. We've got a massive game coming up against Lille here. The first game against French opposition in this series. And as you can see in the bottom right, we're doing pretty well in the Champions League so far. We've got Dortmund coming up after Valencia, not Valencia, after Lille. So that's going to be an interesting match. But uh, we, we actually managed to get a win against FC Basel in the first game. But anyway, before I get into the video, I've got a very exciting announcement. So basically, guys, I want to show you something that I've been working on with the company for a couple of weeks now. Um, as you may know, I've got an amazing gaming laptop that I've been using to stream. I've been using it to make videos. I'm actually going to be doing a setup video very soon and showing you this machine. And it was built by PC specialists. Now, you're going to see on screen right now, there are three PCs that they have worked with me to build specifically for doing YouTube. These three specs are perfect for editing, rendering, streaming. And as you can see, we've got the MGH Professional, the MGH World Class, and the MGH Legendary. So if you want to go ahead and check out these beautifully built PCs from PC Specialist, there is a link in the description. You can go right to their site and have a look at my page. I don't normally do sponsorships like this, but I really genuinely like their products, and I think you guys would be very, very happy with them. So go ahead, check them out, and let's get into the video. So once again, guys, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different formation-wise. I've gone with a 4-2-2-2. I haven't used this formation yet with this team. And uh, as you guys know, I've been struggling to really pick out the formation I want to use this season. Now that we're in the Champions League, the 3-5-2, will look, it looked a little bit dodgy at the back. So I'm going to try this one out. You can see the, the players I've got on the pitch there. In the middle, we've got Gomez and Perez, in case you can't read those, uh, those bits of text. They're very small and hidden. Let's see how this, uh, how this formation works against a very strong French side. Back into the Champions League. Here we go, guys. This is what this series is all about. It's what Season 2 is about. And I wanted to quickly mention that the vote we did in the last video where I said, should I be simming some games? The one that won was the, you know, simming the non-important games in the league. So every now and again, guys, I will be simming the matches that really don't mean anything, you know, against the bottom 10 in the, in the league. And I'll be playing all the big games. And let me just say this now. After this match... We have a huge game in the league against one of the big boys. Here's Gomez. Get it over the top, maybe. That's a lovely ball into David Silva. Why? Why did I go with the header? But look at what the hell just happened there with that defender. He fell on his ass and hit the ball out for a corner. Honestly, let's get the ball in. It worked out in a way. Can we score from the corner? No, I don't think so. No, they've cleared it. This is nice. Get the ball in, maybe. It's a good cross. Come on. No, that, that defender is huge. He just clears everything. Is Paco again, out to Piatti, over the top for Martinez, no, and again the defender's in the way. Holy shit, no way has that gone in, no freaking way. David Silva with the cross of dreams as well, an early cross, look at the flight on that. And it's just gone over the keeper and hit the crossbar and gone in. Look at that jump from Paco. Oh man, I'm glad I put him into the team, I was actually thinking of not playing him in this game. Because I just haven't been playing well with him lately. But there you go. Proving me wrong or what. Fuck's sake. God damn it. I thought it was happening. It's not the most powerful shot in the world. That You've got to catch it. But the finish there. Wow. That is one hell of a finish from Martin. Okay. Back to square one once again. And there is half time. Honestly, I just had to concede just before half time, didn't I? Oh my god! Why did I do that? I have no idea why I did that! And it's gone in! Holy shit! David Silva, man of the match so far. Look at this! As soon as I get the ball, I thought, yep, I'm having a shot. Look at that! Oh my god! The keeper had no chance. A finesse shot that far out. No way. I've never scored one like that in this game. Look at the curve. Oh my god, that is absolutely beautiful. What a finish from David Silva. Worth every penny of that 55 million euros. God, that was expensive, but whew, that goal is worth a lot of money. 
No, 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 no. Oh, what a save from Diego Alves. That was literally in. I, I genuinely thought that was a goal, guys. Look at that. Oh, what a save. Why did he hit it down the middle? He could have hit that in the bottom left corner and it would have been two all, but no. Oh, I almost got through. I am through. I am through. Get the cross in. Martinez, win the header, son. Oh, my God. It's another amazing goal, guys. <laughs> this game. This game has been so good. The finishing from my strikers and David Silva has been world class. And I will do well in the Champions League if I can score more goals like that. Look at that header from Martinez. All of you guys who doubted me for signing him and getting rid of Rodrigo, I think I've proven you wrong. Into the last few minutes now. Please just blow the whistle, ref. There we go, guys. That's the end of the game. And we get a great win, a vital win as well. And uh, now it's Dortmund next. That's going to be a tough game. But if we win that, I've got to be hot favourites to win the group. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new team sheet. It's going to be my second team. Um, because obviously if I'm going to be simming a few games this season, I want to be able to switch the team around and play some of the, you know, the players that I don't use so often and rest some of the key players. So in my second team, we're going to have a Rougeau up front uh, with... I don't really have many other strikers that could go there. So what I might do actually is play Piatti on the left and Arujo on the right. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. Obviously, Silva, we would absolutely rest him. We'll go with... Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? I've got so many options at Cam. I think what I would do there is go with Depau. I like him there at Cam. I prefer him at Cam other than left mid. On the left there, we will definitely go with Ayu. And on the right side, I will go with Gomez. At CDM, we go with Romeo. Left back, Orban. Centre back, Moreno. Um, the other centre back, Ruiz. And then at right back, Barragan. And in goal, we obviously have Jean, but I'm going to keep Alves in there because, uh, well, I might concede goals, you just don't know. So that will be my second team. Let's go ahead and sim the next match. So the game is against Villarreal. Normally, you'd associate them with being one of the best clubs in La Liga, you know, top six maybe. Unfortunately for them, they are actually 17th at the moment. So this, for me... It's a home game. It kind of classes as one of the non-important matches that I should be able to win. 2-0 down. How? How, man? This team I've got isn't that bad. And we've lost this game against Villarreal 2-0 away. They've been away and won that game. That is, yeah, that's not very good for a home game for us. So this is the big game, guys, I was talking about. Real Madrid away from home this early on in the season. This is a big match. If I can win this, holy crap, I will be so happy. And here we are at the Bernabeu. This, for me, is one of the best matches in the league because it's such a difficult one. Go on, Martinez. Yes, he's gone. He's gone. Go. Oh, my God, Sergio Ramos. Come on, lads. Let's try again here. It's Paco this time. He can dribble. Look at this. Come on, Martinez. You've got to finish this. Oh, man. What a tackle that is. Holy crap. And now we're on the break again. Go, Paco. Go. And Carver Howe is there before me. God damn. And that was a dodgy pass from Casillas. No. Instead, I concede. Oh, I defended so well against Bale there. I just nicked in front of him. And then this happens. Oh, it's just crazy. The reactions of Benzema there is, well, it's world class. I can't say much, guys. I tried my best to stop that from happening, but sometimes on Legendary, they're going to score. That's the end of the first half, guys. I was, you know, pretty happy until they scored, but it's kind of sucked the energy out of me now. That was such an unlucky goal, but it's okay. It's freaking Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. This game is very, very difficult. So, you know what? I'm, I'm okay. We're, we're going to get in this game. Let's see if we can just get a goal, and then we'll just take it. Take it easy and maybe just nick a winner. You just don't know what's going to happen. Counter-attack. There we are. We're on counter-attack. Let's see if that is going to help us potentially get up there and score a goal because they're always going to be on the attack. Yes, let's see if it works. This is what you call counter-attack. Go, 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 lads. Bit more pace. Go. It's just going to be a load of one-twos, but Jackson Martinez is running through. And Ramos comes back. Of course. My God, he's good. It's time to do the substitutions again. Romeo is coming on. He's just such a good unit to have in front of the defence. Gomez and Arujo coming on as well. It's a nice little bit of passing. Romeo over the top. That's not a bad ball. Look at this. Come on. 
and that's gone miles wide. Oh, what a ball. What a goal. There we go, guys. Finally, it worked. And who is it? It's freaking Arujo. Four minutes added time. Right, we've won that. What a Martinez. Yes, the Cellini. Yes, this is good. No way, I might actually get a shot here. <gasps> Silver. No way, this isn't happening. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. No. No, that is evil. Please. Go away, Bale. He's just passed to himself. Oh my god, Aguero. That was so close. But that is the end of the game, guys. Thankfully, we held on. We got the point. And we move on. So in the next episode, we will be playing against Dortmund. And I believe there is a game against Barcelona coming up soon as well. And just a reminder, if you want to check out those custom PCs, please click the link at the top of the description. Go and check them out. Even if you don't want to buy one, just go and have a look and see what you think. Uh, because we've been working on it for so long and I would love to hear your opinions on it. So check out the link in the description. Follow me on Twitter at OfficialMGH and I will see you next time for a new episode.